Hey everyone, hope you guys are all doing good. I am sitting down today. I filmed a couple videos, praise the Lord. It is 1.37 in the afternoon and I am filming. What is going on? Welcome back guys, hope you're all doing good. My name's Jamie, if you guys are new, and I upload videos regarding motherhood and beauty and real life style. <laughs> so if you guys are not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe down below so you guys don't miss any of my future videos. And if you like sit down chatty videos where I'm updating you on things, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. All right guys, minimalism, where am I at? I have been meaning so badly to sit down and do this video, but like I said, it is a rarity that I'm sitting down and making a video like this. We've been looking at like kitchen videos while I'm unloading the dishwasher and vlogs because I just, it's difficult for me to sit down and make a video. But the stars have aligned, so minimalism, that was my non-minimal intro. Anyways, where am I at with minimalism? I am chugging along. I'm in a difficult spot right now because I feel like I'm purging my house of things that I don't want but I'm trying to be intentional on my purchases. It's interesting because I have shared on my videos kind of, you know, things that I've been liking or I have like an Honest Co. subscription. I share diaper bags with you guys on here. And I guess I also wanted to also put a disclaimer out. I did get a couple comments. I get the opportunity to do sponsored videos. I get the opportunity to share products with you guys on my channel. Of course, they don't share anything unless I actually like it, but I get sent products sometimes to share with you guys and that doesn't mean that I use every single diaper bag that I get every single day. You know what I'm saying? If I do a review for a diaper bag, then I have used the diaper bag, but that doesn't mean I use five diaper bags a day. There have been times when I've gifted a diaper bag because I don't need it. I got paid for it or I got given it for free and I want to bless somebody else and it's mine so I can do that, you know? So that's kind of what happens too to some of the things that I get. I don't just like have them, you know, in closets all over my house hoarding all of the things in the world. So yes, I am trying to continue living a minimalistic lifestyle. Um, I just got new furniture so I'm kind of trying to be intentional about the decorations I'm having in my house. I don't want anything overwhelming. I don't want to have stuff everywhere but it's been nice kind of redecorating things because it does make me take a step back and be very intentional about what I'm keeping in my house, what I'm putting in my house, and that kind of thing. I really need to go through my kids' toys. That has been like my number one thing on this journey is I feel like I'm continuing to purge through their toys. And I don't know what it is about their toys, but I always feel bad when I get rid of their stuff. Like I feel like this is not my stuff to get rid of, even though they're three, two, and one, and you know, everything else is my job because I'm their mom, so getting rid of their toys should be my job too. But for some reason, it's a little bit hard. Are you guys like me? Comment down below. How are you doing with getting rid of your kids' stuff? Because I'm having a hard time here. I'm trying to build my spring capsule wardrobe and I feel like it's basically done. I picked up a couple pieces. These kind of shirts like this. This is from Target from the Knox Rose, Rose Knox brand. I don't know, it's a new line. I love it. Have you guys seen it? All the stuff is very like chic, kind of peasant looking. I really like it. I have a couple shirts like this. This is kind of my go-to for spring. And so my capsule wardrobe I think is basically done for spring. Um, and now just, you know, I'm just living in it. And maybe in summer I'll pick up a couple shorts or something like that. But that's basically done. If you guys want me to share with you what my wardrobe looks like right now, what my capsule looks like, I would love to. I love watching videos like that so I can definitely share that with you. I also was thinking about possibly sharing with you guys what my makeup collection looks like. I am not a makeup guru by any means. I put makeup on my face today simply because I'm filming. <laughs> but if you guys want to see what it looks like, I am trying to keep a minimalistic makeup collection then I will share that with you guys. One thing that I have learned about myself is that I stress shop. When I get stressed out, when I am emotional, when I'm having a hard time, I want to shop and it's been very interesting trying to live a minimalistic lifestyle when that's something that I struggle with and I didn't realize I struggled with it until I tried to live a minimalistic lifestyle. So needless to say, this past month has been a little hard for me. I feel like I've had a couple moments where I've made impulse purchases where I didn't really necessarily need something 
or maybe I didn't even really love it that much, but it was eye-opening because it's an experience for me to learn more about myself and to grow and to look forward and be more aware of it next time I'm feeling that way. So I'm trying to use other <laughs> stress-relieving measures. I'm trying to really be more prayerful and mindful. I'm trying to take time for myself in the morning time um, to kind of just like meditate and chill and be, get in the word and um, you know just be more aware, more aware of when I'm struggling. So this journey of minimalism has been so much more than just getting rid of things in my house. It has been learning about myself, learning about the way that I deal with things, the way that I cope, um, learning about how my environment makes me feel. Gosh, it's just, it's so good, you guys. It's so good. Where are you at on your minimalism journey? How's life for you? Um, have you started it? Are you thinking about it? Um, what are your fears? Why are you not doing it? What's holding you back? Why are you loving it and why are you thriving in it? Comment down below and let me know. I hope you guys are all blessed. You're all doing well. Subscribe if you're not already. I love you guys and I will see you next time.